Hey everybody, welcome back to the Shop Black News. This is your boy Stan Matthews. Always great to be with you. Listen, last night we had an amazing <laughs> coach's corner uh, with Dr. George Frazier, with Dr. Herb Harris, with our chairman, Mr. Eugene Poole. Uh, with our senior host, uh, the one and only Natalie Stokes Peters, our streaming host, Val the Voice Johnson. Listen, guys, I am so glad to welcome you back in the Shop Black News. This is MBN's way of updating you on the opportunities in our community, opportunities around the world. Uh, here's the opportunity around the world. Last year, in 2021, Black and Brown Native consumers around the globe spent $10 trillion. Uh, in the U.S., a little over $4 trillion. What do we want? We want them to spend 20% of that in the U.S. or $800 billion with you, 20% around the globe. That's $2 billion with you so we could turn black and brown communities into great places to live, work, raise a family, build a business and generational wealth with our own dollars. That is what we want to do. And that is what we want for you. So without further ado, I'm going to call on the one and only Jari Shivana, our chief correspondent, our Indian creative director to take it from here. Take it away, Jari. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the NBN Shop Black News and Leadership Spotlight. Here are this week's praise reports. Stan Matthews says thank you to everyone for an amazing Big South regional meeting and a warm welcome to the new nine members that joined us this past week. And thank you to everyone for reaching 2,400 members. So let's work together to get to 2,500 by the end of this year. Stephen Hutchinson says that he has made incredible connections in MBN and is now working with Jose Gonzalez and Seven Meadows, as well as Eileen Marcial for Legal Shield. Natalie Stokes Peters will also like to thank Eileen Marcial for helping her get the proper legal paperwork for her mother. And also would like to thank Sherrod Ledet for the opportunity to work with him on his latest book, Three Foundational Mindsets. Let's move on to announcements. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Matthews TV and help us reach 1,000 subscribers by December 31st of this year. As always, connect with Stan Matthews on LinkedIn so we can all share as a group. If you are interested in our success journals, please call Sherrod Ledet at 502-370-1952. For MBN meetings, See you at our October 17th Big West Regional Meeting. Please remember to register your VIP guests with the link in the daily newsletter. For our featured leaders and sponsors, call Michelle Walker Davis at 609-320-5375 to get access to the $855 billion grant market. Call Rhonda Horace at 818-399-6295 to connect with the Northwest Regional Entrepreneurs and call Natalie Stokes Peters at 443-691-1386 to connect with the Southwest Regional Entrepreneurs for MBN Growth Opportunities. Hi, I'm Jari Javana, MBN Creative Director, and I can help you turn your concepts into cash flow and your ideas into income. With my branding box, you'll get a TV-ready commercial, custom logo, and an e-commerce website. If you are interested, please email me at mbncreativedirector at gmail.com for a free consultation. Looking forward to speaking with you soon. Join Sam Matthews for the ICP 6 and 7 figure class Tuesdays at 8.30 to 9 a.m. on the Wednesdays at 7 a.m. Worthiness and Wellness Wednesdays led by Dr. Marie Celestin, Dr. Sheila Bunsen, Pastor Charles Kiris, and Eval Bertil. On Wednesdays at 1 p.m., the MBN Membership Orientation Meeting with Sam Matthews and the MBN Orientation Team. For our MBN Clubhouse meetings on Wednesdays at 11 a.m., we have the MBN Wellness Wednesdays with Dr. Marie Celestin, Yvelle Bertil, and Victoria Falk and Friends. On Wednesdays at 5 p.m., the MBN C-Suite Chatter, led by Christy Love, Michelle Walker Davis, Val Johnson, Dr. Frazier, and Friends. For our MBN shows to watch, we have the Millionaire Masterclass with Stan Matthews and featured guests, Thursdays and Fridays at 9 a.m., The Shop Black News, featuring MBN news, opportunities, and events, Fridays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. For Shop Black recommendations, please shop black with the 10 companies recommended in the daily newsletter. Watch this week's Leadership Spotlight featuring Africa in Focus with our global contributors, Mal Kisha. As always, stay connected, and remember your network is your net worth. See y'all next week. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus, I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay and this is Africa, a continent of 54 sovereign states, 17% of the world's population, 9.6% of the global oil output, 
90% of the world's platinum supply, 90% of the world's cobalt supply, half of the world's gold supply, two-thirds of the world's manganese. 35% of the world's uranium, 75% of the world's coltan and 54 votes in the United Nations General Assembly. This is what makes Africa so attractive and makes the continent a battleground for global powers. There are numerous fronts, investment and infrastructure, military power, diplomacy, soft power, trade, geopolitics. Every country has its own interest in Africa. In 2016, Israel began its scramble for the continent. Benjamin Netanyahu became the first Israeli Prime Minister to visit Africa in 50 years. What did he want? Votes. In favour of Israel and against Palestine in the United Nations resolutions. Africa and Israel share similar histories, he said. Israel went on to sponsor solar, water and agricultural technologies. In the same year, 2016, Senegal co-sponsored a UN resolution. It condemned the construction of illegal Jewish settlements in the West Bank. What did Israel do? It cancelled the Mashav drip irrigation project. And this is just one example. Here's another one. The European Union has pledged more than $54 billion in sustainable investment for Africa. What does the EU want? Access to the African market of 1.3 billion people. Brussels has negotiated free trade agreements with at least 40 African countries. But does this ensure a balanced two-way trade? It doesn't. And no country has a bigger interest in Africa than China. China is funding one in five infrastructure projects in Africa. It is building every third one. Africa has an infrastructure deficit and China has a signed checkbook. Starting 2005, China has invested at least $2 trillion in Africa. It built 6,200 kilometers of railways including the continent's longest railway line connecting Ethiopia and Djibouti. Beijing has also built the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa. What does China get in return? A lot. Geopolitical influence to start with. Beijing is selling its culture, its currency. In Guinea-Bissau, exit signs are written in Mandarin. China has established at least 50 Confucius Institutes across 33 countries. Several African countries use Chinese currency. China also gets a strategic overseas base. In 2017, China built its first overseas base at the Horn of Africa, Djibouti to be specific. Djibouti connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean via the Suez Canal. The base has the capacity to accommodate 10,000 troops. China also gets a market to dump its goods. China is Africa's largest trading partner. Chinese trade has increased 40-fold in the last two decades. At least 10,000 Chinese firms operate in Africa. This is according to a McKinsey study. Africa has resources and China has access. Business owners, join a professional network that will help you share the unique value of your products and services with black and brown customers who have more than $1.6 trillion to spend on an annual basis. Join the Matthews Business Network and get the coaching, the clients, the connections, and the capital you need to succeed, to get growing right now. Remember guys, we cannot get ahead without being together. We cannot get ahead without being together. And TEAM stands for the proposition that together each one of us achieves more. Listen, God broke the mold when he made you. So stop trying so hard to fit in. You and you and you were born to stand out. This is your boy Stan Matthews saying continue to shop black, continue to reinvest in black and brown communities all over the globe. I'll see you next week and I'll see you way over the top. God bless. If you like the content, make the connection. Subscribe now so that you can continue to get updated about all of the opportunities, all of the praise reports, all of the great leaders that we bring here to you in the GBC, the global black and brown community in the Shop Black News. We'll see you soon and we'll see you over the top. Yes, you.